there everyone, M here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Last time I caught some new buddies, Orville, Chi Chi, Yellow Jay, and Kate, and I also fought my rival, which kind of came close to ending in disaster. Also, I'm out of healing items. How much money did he give me? Not enough to get a potion. See it. All right, let's just, at least I got plenty of antidotes, so I don't have to worry about getting poisoned. For now, at least, until those run out through some uh, horrible luck of mine. Do, 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 do. There's an item ball over there that I just glimpsed at. That, I want it, but I can't get it until much later. Oh well. What about they gotta say about the forest? Ratata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? I've used one, yes, and it served me well. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. I'm sure I won't. I really like that in this generation of games, they added the uh, little portrait thing for each dungeon you go into. At least these games did it, and so did Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I think that's it. Why am I going this way? Oh, wait, isn't there something at the base of this tree? Yeah, an antidote. Nice. You can never have enough antidotes, you know? Especially in this place, and there's weedles everywhere. Oh, that reminds me, I should have Yellow Jay up front. Yellow Jay and Kate need to catch up. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Well, I'm doing a Nuzlocke, so I'm afraid that rule doesn't quite apply to me. Caterpie, let's see if you can handle this one, Yellow Jay. I sure hope so. And how much is that gonna do? About the same, so it's probably safer to just have Orville come in and clean house. Oh, Orville's about to level up. I just noticed that. All right, blow the swarm away. Wham, bam, baby. All right, Orville will probably get the level up from this. I gotta be mindful of the level limit. It's 14, I do believe. Oh, wait, item. The potion, good. I kind of needed that after I ran out. Oh, there's this guy. Cling to the walls, he won't see you. Well, he will, but he won't engage in battle with you. Whoosh. If there's one thing I kinda wish, it's that the friggin' physical special split happened a generation earlier. Because... Knowing that technically Gen 1's the only one not getting to benefit from that... I mean, in a way it does with the Gen 2 remakes. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on, let's battle them! But in terms of just like the regular Gen 1 games, no. Uh, those games have not received a remake that's got the physical special split. Alrighty then, let's have... There's a chance Orville will get poisoned here, but don't worry, I got plenty of antidotes to save that. Oh no, string shot! I'll just whoosh you away. It doesn't take much to do that. No siree. Okay, and then I'll just have Yellow Jay come back in, and I'll switch him back out for Orville. These woods will learn how to fear you, Orville! Yes. Fear the bird! Fear the mighty Orville! No! Canopy can't hack it! Well, you have a Weedle, too. Don't, don't ignore your Weedle. Okay, then there's this dude up ahead here. Second verse, same as the first, as they say. Yo! You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer! What's that supposed to mean? I don't understand, you can't jam out? Maybe I'm too old, but I, why? I don't understand why you'd say that. Remember how in the anime that- Oh! Ah, uh, don't do that again, please! You know how Leech Seed was depicted in the anime? That was kind of freaky as well, seeing that as a kid. Like, the seed just would just open up and- Thanks for missing, Jupiter. The seed would just open up and vines would come out and surround the Pokemon and just start draining their energy. Freaky stuff. Pokemon can be freaky when you think about it. Look what you've done, Jupiter. A worm is now faster than you. Do you see what you've done? I love you, but you need to hit with those tackles. There we go. Good little Bulbasaur. Good little cutie. Good little cute patoot. 
This guy might have a Kakuna, I'm not sure. Send Yellow J back out. I don't know, maybe this will be the moment where Yellow J finally levels up and evolves. It'll be, uh, not quite as useful Kakuna. Instead of a not quite as useful Weedle. Yeah, he's small and he's weak, but he dreams big. Alright, come on now. Are you gonna spam String Shot? I mean, thank you, I guess, but come on. Come on. Come on. Fall over and die, please. There we go. Bye-bye. You know, now that I think of why didn't you evolve your Weedle? Okay, you evolved one of your Weedles. But how come you didn't evolve the other? You know, I wonder. Uh, maybe not, but I was thinking that maybe Yellow Jake could take out Kakuna on his own. I mean, all it's gonna do is use Harden. So, if... I mean, 34 Poison Stings might be enough. We'll see. Well, while we're here, I guess I can share a story. In both of my- of the nut test Nuzlocks I did before this one, my encounter at this place was a Kakuna. Both times! Viridian Forest encounter was a Kakuna. You have no idea how annoying it is to train a Kakuna until you've done it yourself. Like, just a Kakuna, not a Weedle or a Caterpie that you got before it evolved into that cocoon form. It is so frustrating. Just like the, how this battle is getting frustrating to deal with, I might just speed up through this. Like, literally speed up, just take the footage and speed it up to however I can in the editing program. See, now we're at the point where Kakuna can't get any harder. Yeah, I said it. Best way I could think of to say it. We gotta get Yellow J to evolve. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're sitting here spamming Poison Sting. Because, hey, a worm, just a plain old worm, that's not gonna look, like, badass or cool enough to drop a mixtape. People won't, won't take a worm seriously, but a big-ass hornet, they'll take that seriously. And we gotta get Yellow J towards that, you know? We gotta push him towards that stage. Sooner or later, someone's gonna be stuck using Struggle. And I don't remember how much PP Harden has, so it could be Kakuna that does it first. Wouldn't that be something? Come on, Yellow J, you can do it! Everyone believes in ya! Except maybe Kate, cause she doesn't want to play second wheel to you! Probably cause she thinks Butterfree's are automatically better than Beedrill's due to- One, Butterfree gets confusion and gust once it evolves. But on the other hand, Beedrill has good special defense, doesn't it? There we go, you did it, Yellow J! You beat a Kakuna! And with that, you got to level 57. Or 57, no, 7, just 7. Hey, Jupiter leveled up too. Is this it? Yeah! You're ready for the gym now, boy! Huh? I ran out of Pokemon! You sure did. Now bask in the greatness that is Yellow Jay's evolution! He's one step closer to being the badass bee. Yellow J evolved into Kakuna! And he learned Harden. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Decent defense, his attack stat hasn't changed. Okay, now we gotta work on Kate. We gotta get her to a Metapod at least. So let's go find somebody real quick. All right, let's pick this up, another antidote, don't mind if I do. Now, if I remember right, there's a trainer over here that wasn't in Gen 1. Maybe? I don't remember. Uh, whatever, we're about to fight him. I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Okay, swoosh, blow him away. Become the terror of the woods, Orville. Don't worry, Kate. When it comes time for you to fight a Metapod, we'll have you handle it. Because at least Tackle doesn't resist. Like... No, 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 wait. I need to word that better. Because Metapod does not resist normal. So Tackle would do no neutral damage no matter what. Also, how come this kid has two non-evolved Caterpies? They should have evolved by now. Just saying. Let's just blow these two sorry excuses for worms out of here. They're so afraid of evolving, they've refused to make their cocoon. Oroville's pretty close to leveling up, though. 
Oh, boo. Nothing went right. Nope, nothing went right for you. I lost some of my allowance. Yeah, you might want to get your Caterpie checked at. You know, I don't think there's anything down here. No hidden items that I know of. I hardly really look for hidden items unless I know exactly where they are. Alright, Kate, load up. That's good. That's good. She didn't get a whole lot in terms of attack, though. Oh, that special attack stat is pitiful. But don't worry, I'm sure it'll get better. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? Yes, sir. Yellow G just evolved not too long ago. Alright, do you happen to have... Oh, you got three Pokemon. And you do have a Metapod. Okay, Kate, you're staying in. Let's see if you can handle a Metapod on your own. This is gonna be another one of those long fights that I might just speed up. Or just skip around or whatever. I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should just leave everything as is or just cut things out where there's not much going on or something. Like, I can understand the use of the flatter because it cuts out filler, but a part of me can't help but think that people would get suspicious and think that, oh, you cut out, like, them dying or something. But on the other hand, leaving the footage as is without doing much editing, it just... I don't know, there's pros and cons to both sides, really. Also, I think Kate might have gotten a critical hit with Tackle not a little bit ago, and I never noticed it because I was too busy talking about my dilemma. My personal dilemma at that. Up oh, another crit if that's if that was your second crit. Good job, Kate. Oh, so close. Um, we'll have Chi Chi needs to level up. Chi Chi needs to get in on this. Poor Chi Chi, she hasn't seen much action. Just scritch, 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 scritch. Is Bug resistant to fighting? I don't remember. Like, I, mean, I went chance because Scratch is doing good enough damage as it is. Wow, that's a fast little worm you got there, buddy. Oh, he's speed tied, I guess. Okay. Yes! Kate's level 7 now. That's good. Alright, who's up now? Metapod! Metapod! Alright, Kate's level 7 now. Let's not mess that up. So, we'll just have Orville come in and finish off this thing. Ha! Hardening, hardening your cocoon will not save you. Not from the winds of vengeance! Okay, maybe they will. Orville, uh, wrap this up, okay, buddy? There you go. And boop. Level 11. Probably good to have you relatively high up there because I don't see myself using you at the gym. Oh, I lost! You did lose, yes. And now you get to witness Kate's evolution. You were smart. You evolved your other two of your Caterpies. You should have evolved your third. Now bear witness to... This marvelous green specimen. This little goof. Kate evolved into Metapod. And learned Harden. Now let's hope that these two live long enough to uh, get to their final forms. They should. I don't. There's no way they could die. And if anything, I wouldn't let them die. That's for sure. So that being said, training them is going to be a bit of a pain, I think. Wait, how much HP do you have? The same as Yellow J. You two are rivals in more than just one way now. If I had to pick which one I'd want to have evolved first, it'd probably be Kate, because I think... Does Butterfree, Butterfree learn confusion upon evolving? I don't remember. You two have that or Kate... Really? Uh, and shut spit skin didn't kick in. Right, not taking that chance. Uh, Jupiter, help us! Listen, thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, good thing I have like seven antidotes now. So let's just cure Kate. And I think there's another item down here. Might be another antidote. It's a potion! Good. And there's something hidden up ahead, if I remember right. What's this sign say? You can't catch a Pokemon that belongs to someone else. Throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon to catch them. Yeah, if you try throwing a Pokeball at someone else's Pokemon, you get told, Don't be a thief! And you lose that ball you threw, I think. Also, a hidden potion right there. And what is this? What are you? Oh, I can't be mad at you. You're an adorable little worm. Now let me throw my cocoon at your face.
Okay, this kid up ahead has a level 9 Weedle, if I remember right. We'll just have Kane take the experience here. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Why the rush? You can stay here and fight me! Well, I think if I walked that way, you would have fought me anyway. Even if there was more space there than if there wasn't the Gen 1. Because Gen 1, there was literally only one patch of grass in front of that dude and that was it. Blow the swarm to oblivion! Not even you could survive a gust like that. Alright. I give! You're good at this! Yeah, I am. Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but... Sometimes you can find stuff on the ground. I'm looking for the stuff I dropped. Can you help me? It was a potion. Do you happen to have that? Nope, I don't have a potion. No siree. And we're out of the woods! Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? Try sprink sprinkling water on them. I heard they can dance! They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, I hear. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Alrighty then. Well, I'm out of the forest now, so I think now's as good a time as ever to stop the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time... I'm gonna get these guys to an appropriate level. At the very least, I'm gonna have Yellow Jane Kate evolve and have Chi Chi probably catch up so she can. I'm pretty sure she learns Karate Chop at level 11, I wanna say? I'm not sure. But anyway, expect grinding next episode, and I'm pretty sure I can fit in the Pewter City Gym battle in there. Alright, so I hope you have a good morning, day, or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you later. Bye!